Pneumonia is a nasty infection causing severe inflammation in the lungs and causing the alveoli to fill with mucus, fluid, and debris. Now, this extra fluid can make it harder to breathe. So the memory trick, just think P for pneumonia as P for a plague of inflammation inside the lungs that fills the alveoli with fluid. As you know, the alveoli is the place where gas exchange occurs. So normally we breathe oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. But with pneumonia, all this fluid, mucus, and debris fills the lungs and leads to impaired gas exchange, where CO2 can't get out and oxygen can't get in. This results in hypoxia from that low oxygen and acidosis from too much carbon dioxide. So just think carbon diacid, since too much CO2 can put the body into acidosis, and also impaired ventilation, as the body tries desperately to get air through those fluid, mucus-filled alveoli. So write it down. Impaired gas exchange is typically the most tested nursing diagnosis for clients with pneumonia, which leads to ineffective breathing pattern as the body fights for air. Now for the signs and symptoms, before you start memorizing, just think of the patho here. Again, P for pneumonia, just think P for a plague of infection inside the lungs. Now write down these top six most tested key terms here. Number one is altered mental status. We see restlessness, agitation, and confusion. These three are the earliest signs of hypoxia. So write them down because they are critical. Click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over 100,000 students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Since it can lead to deadly respiratory failure. Now, the brain is very sensitive to oxygen. So these key words also cross over for other conditions where we have low oxygen in the brain, like increased ICP and even strokes. Now, number two is fever. Key term here, over 100.4, or 38 degrees Celsius. Always an NCLEX favorite, and that loves to show up on exams. Number three is a productive cough with yellow sputum from that infection. So again, pneumonia, just think that plague inside the lungs. Which leads to number four, fine or coarse crackles upon auscultation from fluid and mucus-filled lungs. And then number five, dyspnea, that shortness of breath. Okay, now the biggest sign that pneumonia is getting worse is key term pleuritic chest pain with pleural friction rub. That must be reported to the HCP. It's described as a sharp chest pain upon inspiration or breathing in or upon coughing. Now, sometimes it's described as stabbing or burning pain inside the chest that increases upon inspiration or with the cough. Pleurisy is a major complication of pneumonia, as inflamed lung tissues rub together, sounding kind of like rocks rubbing together. So we call it pebble friction rub for plural friction rub, or even sounding like sandpaper rubbing together, kind of like this. So Kaplan mentions, a pleural friction rub is described as a gradient sound or vibrations heard during inspiration and expiration. Now other signs, which are not really key, include unequal chest expansion, bronchial breath sounds, which are high-pitched sounds, and tactile fermentitis. This presents as more vibrations from a patient's back when repeating certain phrases and indicates denser or inflamed lung tissue. Now a common NCLEX question here. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.